Can any good thing come out of the prison? This is one of the frequently asked questions by many people, and it is mainly due to the fact that the prison is regarded as a den for criminals. The two is a coefficient of work, of X, yes. So we divide both sides by two. Okay. Inside the Nsawa medium security prisons, however, prison officers are investing time energy, knowledge and resources to change the narrative. They are using formal education to achieve that result. Courtesy of the Ghana Education Trust Fund, these two beautiful separate cream and white one-story 11 classroom blocks have been constructed for use as classrooms and lecture halls for inmates in need of education right from the basic level through to tertiary. Educating prison inmates, according to studies, reduces recidivism, the term used for reoffenders. It also enhances the chances of inmates gaining employment after their release from prison. There are close to 3,000 inmates here in the Nsawa Medium Security Prison. At least 400 of them are bent on leaving this confinement one day with a certificate that could make them employable. Joseph Yankee is Assistant Director of Prisons in charge of inmate education. People normally committed crime because they never knew what they were doing. But now that we have been giving them education, most of them have changed the attitude towards certain things. And I don't think that when they go back, uh, they will commit that crime. Because when you train the person, you equip the person to have knowledge. And knowledge persists everything. In one of the classes here at the Reformers Senior High School, inmates are obtaining knowledge crucial for a better life once they leave prison. It is a government class and the teacher is 36-year-old Ali Dufuseni. Before we delve into the new topic that we have today. His students, who are all prisoners, will partake in the next West African Senior School Certificate Examinations by WAYEC. We have syllabus that we refer to, so our teachers according to the syllabus. Though a teacher and has absolute control over his students, Alidu is not a free man. He is also a prisoner serving 11 year jail term for robbery. I'm the first person in my family to come to jail. And I'll also be the first person in the family to lecture at the government universities in Ghana here or even the training colleges. That is my ambition. This ambition was birthed in this prison and he took a step to realize it. It is only a determined mind that can combine the harsh conditions in the prison with studies. Since Alidu has no plans to return to robbery when discharged, he's hard to forge ahead. And when he sat the exam, all the efforts he put in paid off. Alidu, the general arts student, got aggregate 11. A1 in geography, A1 in social studies, A1 in history, B2 in government. B3 in English language studies, B3 in integrated science, and C4 in mathematics. Our rights are enshrined in the constitution, our basic rights, the right to live. Thanks to the University of Cape Coast Distance Learning Program, Alidu is now in level 200 pursuing a bachelor's in education majoring in English and social studies. As the best student here in the Reformers Senior High School, I also decided that no, I have to make sure that that academic excellence that I achieved at the senior house school level was not just a fluke, but it was a dint of hard work. So I decided to carry it along. And as I'm speaking right now, the English and Social Studies Department, you know, uh, the one who is leading in terms of the cumulative GPA. What's the GPA now? Okay, 3.7. Huh? Yes. So, and my target is to come out with first class. What the mind conceives, it can really achieve. With no trained and posted teachers to the reformers, senior high school, the teaching responsibility is being shared between prison officers and some capable inmates. Johnson Kalija and Frank Eshon are among the inmates doubling as teachers. Johnson, for example, had no knowledge in ICT when he first entered the prison in 2009. He is now a teacher in that subject. I teach mathematics and I teach Microsoft Word. I learned all here. I learned it here because 
after my WASI in 2013. So I decided to join the ICT section. Because I was not having any knowledge on, about ICT. And I know that the world that we are in now is full of uh, uh, technology, new inventions every day. And you must be addressed with computer. So I decided to join the ICT section. We need to impart knowledge to the younger ones. You know, things, society is dynamic, things are changing. And image comes here, becomes liability. But what do we need to help them so that they will become assets to the society and the community? Those are some of the motivations that really motivates me to come on board as a teacher.